Hi guys, welcome to Rhino Code. In today's session, we'll talk about how we can read and write data from Google Sheet. Uh, it's pretty simple and it can be done within five minutes uh, with the help of SheetDB. SheetDB is a open source application which allow you to connect Google Sheet with any uh, application. So we will be using Bubble and Google Sheet and SheetDB to connect with each other. Uh, it comes free for two sheets and 500 call a month. So that's pretty good. So what we need is we need an access to uh, SheetDB. You can connect your Google account and uh, it can get connected easily. Uh, I already have it. So once you connect, this is what you will see. Uh, what you need to do then create a Google Sheet uh, and uh, put some data in it. So we are creating, let's say, employee data. So I already have some data uh, with me. I'll delete last row. And all we need to do is just go to your dashboard, click on create new, put the link of the sheet here and hit create API. The moment you hit create API, your API is being created. So we already have this. Now what we need to do, is we need to go to our bubble editor, uh, go to plugin you need to have an api connector if you don't have you can add it through add plugin uh, it's free and it's very powerful now we will add another api we'll give the name have the api name sheet sheet db uh, we need to copy our this and paste it here and then we need to do a search underscore or and then we will what we want to search on the field name we'll start capturing the field name from here so we'll take employee ID equals to start query within bracket and then start then we will have a second field which is name and name equal to query and then we'll put this into and qualification Query and we'll have the last column which is salary equal to. I'll take this private out, we'll put the value one for the timing which we can. Remove it later on and then we'll try and initiate the call. Okay, there is an error which is there. We'll just see our query again. We need to put the search employee ID query and name query qualification query and salary okay we did not have the this uh, initiate again okay unidentified column we employ id so we have So 
we don't need to put the this okay so we have managed to get the data so salary will be number qualification will be text employee ID can be a number so we'll hit the save now we'll take this one out and then we will also create another call which is for the posting so for the posting we need to select post action form data paste the same api link okay and we just need to first let's add the parameters so our parameter would be employee id parameter would be name parameter would be qali vacation parameter would be salary for the timing we'll just put the number one two three four I will take this private out and then we'll have a initial call okay so this is done if you go to our Google sheet you can see the one entry has come we'll delete it now the API is being connected what we will do we'll build a structure and bring the data and from that we will try and send the data out okay so what we need to do is go here uh, we can bring one input box we can give the name this to search and we can say search data search and then we need to bring a repeating group we bring a repeating group this is linked with this has to link with the api call we link it with api call we get data from api call path query okay this path query will be search value Now we will connect the text box employee ID and we'll copy paste this with name this with qualification and copy paste this with Okay. We can have seven rows, expand a bit, and full list. Okay, let's deploy this and we'll see whether it works or not. So as you can see the data has been fetched from sheet let's try and make some change here so increase the salary to 5000 and let's refresh this 5000 let's try and search 1002 yep it works let's search bca yep it works Let's search C as an employee. It's not working because C is in caps, so there is 
no the name is not working uh, let's search salary yes it did work so we'll check why name is not working but rest all are working okay so this is how we have connected this data and if you make the change it comes here now let's add it try to add a data from the bubble to sheet itself so what we will do in our editor we will add a add button we will add a button add uh, we can create a pop up And then you can say sheet db add and you can get the input box one it will be employee id and then you can just copy this copy this then we can say name name we can say uh, qualification qualification and we can lastly add the salary and salary what we need is yes. save button save and we would write a workflow so what we will do, we will have a sheet uh, posting, okay, it's not coming, we will go to plugin, home data action, call this posting, then let's, yep, new API posting, employee ID will be linked to ID value this will be linked to name value this will be linked to qualification value and this will be linked to salary value once this is done reset relevant input hide an element pop up a and then refresh the page okay so let's try that so i'll click on add oh we did not add any action to this button so we'll go back we'll click on this and here we'll say show an element sheet dba so we have a two so here this also need to change to sheet dba okay we'll deploy this so click on add 1005 name amit qualification ptac salary 25,000 and hit save so we got this guy here and we got here now if I change this let's say I'm at sing and let's refresh the page it's all done so uh, thank you for watching uh, this is an interesting thing. I think Sheet DB is very cool and it's very easy to integrate. Uh, stay tuned for more such videos for Bubble Tutorial. Thank you so much.